Uh, this last question's yeah. a fun one. It's another softball. So <laughs> <laughs> it's not at all. Okay. So 50 years from now, mm. you're on your deathbed. What is your legacy? It could be a billboard, a paragraph, a small message, something that you want to tell to the world. Hmm. Yeah, real softball, Tony. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for not giving me any warning about the question. Summarize your life, right? <laughs> In one sentence. <laughs> it's your it's your message too. It's like your something that you think that the world needs to hear, or your legacy. Hmm. Uh, read more, listen more, speak less. Um, chase truth and be fully aware that it is available right it can be found and uh, there is there is one general manager of the universe and you are not it have you seen Hamilton? <laughs> I, have. <laughs> right. I have. That's what it just made me think of. Talk less. <laughs> Smile more. <laughs> That's what it made me think of when you said that. Yeah. Uh, I, I think we, you know, most people do not listen. Mm -hmm. um, when, I, when I'm talking to you, for the most part, you're thinking of how, what you're going to say next. Mm -hmm. Listening for key words. Oh, he said boat. I know. I have a boat story. Yep. You know. Uh, yeah. There's a reason we have two ears and one mouth, right? Mm -hmm. uh, um, In case Peter cuts one off. He will. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but the Bible says that uh, where there are many words, uh, transgression is unavoidable. You know, and it's better to be silent and thought a fool than to open your mouth and prove it. Yeah, you know, and um, yeah, talk a little bit less, you know, even in when you're negotiating, right? Absolutely. You know, it's it's really easy to talk yourself out of a good deal. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, listen more and, and listen to what what do you really need, mm -hmm. you know, and and I think you can meet someone else's needs and your own if yep. you're really looking for the right opportunity. Yep, that's what I always talk to like our sales guys about is like, dude, you need to talk a whole lot less. You should not be talking. You should talk 10% of the time. They should be talking 90% mm -hmm. of the time. And basically what you're doing is you're pointing the questions to find out what they actually like need or want and how you can actually help them accomplish that. And we can still accomplish what we need to accomplish. Because the more you talk, like sometimes like, dude, you over explain that. They don't care and they don't even know what you're saying. Like you're using words that don't matter. So just ask questions and find out like what they actually want. Mm -hmm. So, but yeah, that's the most important thing in sales. Ask, just ask. Yeah, ask questions and then really listen. Yeah. And yeah. Um, yeah, I wish I would have had a, a cooler answer for that uh, summarize your life thing. It's but, still yeah. different. It's yeah, still I was different than everybody else who's ever came on. So, <laughs> yeah, I wish I had more time. I wanted to go into like talking about being a dad, but we don't. I got to go to the bathroom so bad. So. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, if you know, if you want me to come back and offend more people on your show, yeah. I'd be willing to do that. So. I don't think anybody's gonna be too offended. I'm, pre I'm pretty sure you offended uh, the Catholic Church. Oh. <laughs> uh, and <laughs> so, I, so why not? Next and, time we'll we'll try to be uh, find another group to offend. Yeah, if I offended you, Catholic Church, I'm sorry. I love you. And uh, for the for the capitalist out there, <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, I, I offended Republicans and capitalists. Yes, uh, so we still love you too. <laughs> Absolutely.